I just came outside and harvested an entire basket. I have a full-time job. I am not a farmer. I'm not a gardener. This is not what I do for a living. I work in corporate America. Um, I have a desk job. So really, what are you waiting for? Hey, and welcome back to Mini Urban Farm, a channel about urban gardening and urban homesteading in the suburbs. Um, I am so excited today because it is time for our February garden tour and there are so many uh, brand new things happening in the garden this month. All right, so first up for the February garden tour is our seed starts. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Just, I think, what, a week ago or so, this was completely covered in dirt and now we have little seeds um, now, if you want to see everything that I am growing, I made a whole separate video on that. Um, but everything is pretty much come up. Um, we have some cucumbers, we have some eggplants. Um, the lesia peppers finally actually poked their way up um, this morning. So those have been started officially. Um, I just have this open here um, because it, it does get really humid with this on it. Um, as you can see right now, it is about... Oh, 75 or so 76 um, and it gets really hot in here so those are our seed starts um, they are starting to grow some of their true leaves um, as you can see some of our zucchinis here Oops, some of our zucchinis have their first set of true leaves so then we will be planting these out in the garden um, as soon as they have another um, one or two set of their true leaves I've also got some little herbs that I've been propagating um, and just letting them grow out here also in the greenhouse. You can see some rosemary back there. Um, we have some thyme and I'm going to be doing some lemon thyme also. Alright, so now for the existing garden beds. Um, we have our first two beds which still actually have tomatoes on them. I am super surprised that they have tomatoes on them. But they actually do and we have a whole bunch of little baby tomatoes coming through. Um, we have a lot of ripe ones. I have been picking these non-stop um, and we still have a whole bunch so I haven't been wanting to to rip these out. Now I will be ripping these out as soon as it is time for the plants to go, the seed starts to go in the garden but so far um, I haven't really had to rip them out since we still have the space and it seems like they're producing. They're even putting off some new flowers. I'm really surprised but the weather has been picking up um, and these are indeterminate tomatoes so they have been picking up quite a bit. These are the black cherries um, and they have been quite prolific actually. I wasn't too sure if they were going to be but they are coming out in these little clusters and they get like a dark purple. Um, I think I had probably ripped out some of them. They're on this side of the, the trellis too and so they get kind of like a purplish kind of color there's a whole bunch of them still on the plants um, but yeah they and they do kind of get heavy over here so I have to trellis them upwards and kind of over on top of the garden beds here oh. all right and so then underneath this one I have some spinach it hasn't been growing too too much um, because it is getting quite warm um, but it is growing a tiny bit this will probably end up being ripped out um, as soon as everything else is ready. I'm not too concerned about that, but I have been getting quite a little bit of lettuce here. Um, this is, I think, the red romaine lettuce, and so this is like a cut and come again type lettuce, so you don't have to harvest the entire, the entire head. I usually don't plant lettuce, but the kids did not quite take to the arugula as well as I thought they would. Um, so we have some lettuce, and then this, these are the the grape tomatoes as well and you can see here there's so many of them just kind of like hanging so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest all those right now all of my tomatoes and this is actually quite heavy and I've actually harvested about um, twice the amount of tomatoes that's in this basket about 10 times 10 to 15 times um, this season alone so I have eight um, eight grape tomato plants and they have been doing super well that's just the grape tomatoes um, not to mention the romas and the um, the black cherries all right so my next beds have 
all of my parsley, um, I have my beets and my scallions in them. And my parsley, the um, both the curled leaf and the Italian flat leaf parsley has been doing really well. I have been picking all of the parsley on a regular basis to cook with um, and to use for my herb bombs. So that has just continued to produce and I will be also ripping this up as soon as everything is ready to go in the garden. But I'm not gonna rip it up because it just continues um, to be completely full of parsley um, until then. So I, I don't wanna just get rid of it. Um, it would be great if it, some of it could go to seed, but I have not seen it starting to bolt yet. Um, the beets, on the other hand, have not really grown like they were supposed to, um, or like how I wanted them to. Um, I did get some beets earlier on in the season when the weather was much cooler, but um, after that, the beets have not been going too well. Um, it's actually been a lot of rain this month. Um, I, have hard, I've, I haven't had to come out and water the garden nearly as much because it has been so much rain, but it also started to get warm and then it went back into the 40s at night and then into the 60s during the day and then got hot again and then got cold again. So a lot of the things in the garden um, kind of started taking off, started dying and then propped back up a little bit, but as far as the beets go, I'm not exactly sure what to do with those. Um, they'll be coming out and sadly, we did not have that many beets this season. All right, so the next garden bed over here is, is my carrots. Um, as you can see, it's quite a mess. Um, and I do have some Roma tomatoes um, in here that have been doing really, really well this season. So I'm gonna go through and pick these as well for the harvest. Oh, we'll probably make a salad tonight for dinner or maybe just preserve them I haven't decided yet but you can see there's quite a few of them um, ready to be picked all right so I have all my tomatoes which is quite a big basket so far um, it is getting quite heavy so I will probably use the Romas um, to make tomato sauce and freeze it and then do um, like the grape tomatoes in oil preserved so yeah um, I'm gonna get some Swiss chard over here for the chickens um, and probably to make in salad later on but you can see my Swiss chard is still growing very very strong um, this was only I want to say it was maybe like eight plants of it and it, it actually has taken off quite well and I cut it and it just keeps growing so I really like having this on hand I also have my little baby Brussels sprout starts now these are growing but they are growing really slowly I think probably because of the change in temperatures um, it has been like cold and hot and cold and hot so I think that they just um, have been stagnant for a little while and the same over here my other bed um, with my mustard all right so I had planted these out about two months ago um, to go along with all the rest of the mustard that I have um, which is actually doing quite well but those ones never took for some reason. I'm not sure exactly what happened. I think it was probably the same thing with the cold. The arugula though is doing really, really well and it's actually starting to go to seed. So you, we can see um, this is where the regular arugula is and then it started sprouting like these little flowers. Um, and this one is like a little white flower. So I've never actually seed saved arugula. Um, at first I thought it was like a weed that was coming up because I've never seen these type of flowers before, but no, these are actually little arugula leaves. And so, I mean, they're growing right out of one of like the bottom, bottom plants here. Um, and so I'm really excited to see what that looks like. I've never tried to seed save them before, but I guess this will be the year. All right, and we have some lemon thyme growing right there. Um, this is more arugula and you can see the same thing going on with these tiny little flowers. So that's interesting the way that they've grown. I've never, never really seen that before. They're growing in like these little pods and I think that one is starting to open up too. And then you have like these little, I don't think you can see it on camera, but they're like little yellow dots on the inside. So I'm assuming that those are the seeds. Um, so that's that one garden bed completely full of arugula. On that side, um, I ripped up the ground cherry already. So that's been empty for quite a bit, but we have one little flower. Um, and I think that this is a petunia, if I remember correctly. It is absolutely gorgeous. So that is our one little flower, but you can see that there are many other ones opening up here with little flower buds. And we have a whole other plant here. So the petunias I actually planted out um, in fall of last year and I had them in little red solo cups and I eventually transplanted them when I ripped out the radishes out of this bed and they didn't really take off. I think that they're probably um, like a more longer season um, flower. So I planted them out quite a bit and now finally we have one little flower. I'm hoping, um, I'm just gonna leave these. I'm not gonna rip them out at all. So I'm hoping that 
Um, as time goes on, we'll get lots more of them. Um, but this is the first time I've grown petunias and I'm gonna be growing poppies next season. So let's see how that goes. And in this same bed, we have the rest of our Brussels sprouts. Now I love how these look. They are so pretty. I think they look like giant flowers. So I really like these. And we do actually um, have our Brussels sprouts getting much bigger. I remember in the last garden tour, we had tiny little Brussels sprouts, but they've actually gotten much bigger now. There we go. And so I will be taking these off soon. Um, I have been using the leaves, like I mentioned before, just like to steam them um, and then do like kind of lettuce wraps, even though they're Brussels sprout leaf wraps, but I really like them. Um, so this has been really good. Now, I don't think that I will be planting out Brussels sprouts in the future. Um, originally, I thought through my own fault, I did some research and I thought it was going to be about three months. Um, and then I, I started wondering why they weren't growing that much in those three months. And so I did some more research and I found that it can take anywhere up to eight months to grow Brussels sprouts. So for the, the garden boxes I have here, um, I don't know that I will be occupying that much space to do um, a few Brussels sprout plants in the future just because um, we don't eat that many Brussels sprouts. I'd rather grow something else like tomatoes or carrots or something like that. Um, but so far it's been good. It's been interesting to see how a lot of plants grow. So definitely if you haven't grown something before, you know, there's a difference between seeing how it grows like online, just looking at pictures versus actually getting to see the growth process. I have never seen how Brussels sprouts grow. So for me, that was just an interesting experience. The same thing with the arugula going to seed. Um, so if you have a garden and things do start to bolt and go to seed, I mean, even if it's not for the purpose of seed saving it, just to see how, how it grows, I think it's super interesting. All right, so in this last back bed, we have some more beets, and these beets are doing much better than the other ones. As you can see, they are getting a tiny bit leafier. Um, however, I'm not sure that these are gonna grow in time before we rip them out in about two weeks because our seed starts are actually getting a lot, um, a lot bigger, so those might be coming out soon. We have this one little volunteer kale plant in the midst of all the carrots now the kale is right here and it's still doing really well um, i use this a lot for like baby greens and salads so we have been doing quite a bit of kale recently um, but when we were actually planting it out milo jumped in the middle of the garden bed here and spread some of the seeds around so we ended up with some carrots in the kale patch and kale in the carrot patch so i just let it go i mean it seems to be doing quite well and i come through and i harvest some of the leaves every once in a while but it doesn't seem to be hurting anything so there's our carrot patch. Now I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some of these. Um, I have not been letting them go really to full size. I've just been kind of like pulling them as I see them come up through the soil here. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's kind of like a baby version. So we've gotten a few little baby carrots here. We did actually have some much bigger carrots, um, but I don't really have the patience to wait for carrots as much as some other people do. So we tend to harvest quite a few baby carrots um, and then just feed the chickens the carrot greens. Now, sometimes we get lucky and I forget to pick them and then we end up with some really nice sized ones. So that's a pretty good size one right there. I'm just gonna go through and pick the rest of them um, that I find that are somewhat of a decent size um, and take them inside to preserve them in some water for a little while. Of course while I'm out here I can't forget the chickens so I am going to just take some some Swiss chard I'll get some mustard across from me here some arugula from back there and I'm just gonna clip some off so that I can take it to them later on when we go over to visit the chicken coop and you know I just also want to say that if you have not started a garden, if you don't have a garden right now, um, you should definitely start one, and <laughs> not just because I love gardening. But you know what? I just came outside and harvested an entire basket. All right, this is stuff that was just growing on my plants right here, and there's a ton more of it. I still have tons of green tomatoes. I still have all my herbs. I still have salad greens for days and days and days, and it just keeps growing. The more you cut it, the more it grows. So if you haven't done so, I mean, Seriously, what are you waiting for? <laughs> We're in quarantine. And I know that, okay, you say, I have a full-time job. I have a full-time job. 
I am not a farmer. I'm not a gardener. This is not what I do for a living. I work in corporate America. Um, I have a desk job. Granted, right now I am working from home, but I had this garden before I was working from home also. It does not take that much time to maintain a garden. So if you are serious about being healthy and living sustainably, starting a garden is step number one. Really, you need to be able to grow your own food um, in order to be sustainable. So, I mean, just take this as proof. You know, I came out here, have my coffee, and harvested an entire basket of food. So, really, what are you waiting for?